Um, I want to thank everyone for participating on this interactive screen share. My name is Fernanda Santiago, and I've been working in the alternative medicine field for about 10 years now, and as well within my upbringing. I'm very excited and looking forward to sharing this information with you. In this webinar, we will um, learn a lot about the power of antioxidants and why we need them in our daily life in order to combat many diseases, chronic conditions, or just to stay healthy and prevent that from happening. I also want to introduce Victor Granado. He is a chemist and an expert in the alternative medicine field in Mexico, and he'll be sharing his knowledge with us today and expertise as well. The recording has started. So let's begin. Yeah, thank you very much, Penny, and thanks everyone for joining us. I, I hope uh, it uh, you, you can learn a little bit more about this. Uh, actually, Penny and, and, and me have been uh, learning a lot in, in the last days, so we, we want to share it with you. Thank you, Victor. All right, so Free radicals. Many of us have heard of the term free radicals before, right? And we know that free radicals are bad for us. You know, we've heard of it always as something negative, but we don't exactly know why. A lot of us, you know, are not sure exactly why and why are they bad for us. So let's just give us an example so that we can relate to what exactly a free radical is. So when we run a machine, like a car, for example, we all drive a car, most of us do. It burns fuel by combining the fuel with oxygen in the pistons of the engine. Our car moves along the road on the released energy. However, the car also gives off exhaust fuel as a byproduct. So something similar is in the cells of our body. When our bodies combine oxygen with glucose or the body's fuel, in our cells we make energy. But also we produce free radicals. It's our body's version of exhaust fuel or the byproduct. Free radicals are the cells that can be problematic. They are free, they are missing a critical molecule, which sends them on a rampage to pair with another molecule. They can cause a lot of problems to our body, and this can cause you know, injury to previously healthy cells. Over time, this damage can lead to diseases such as cancer, heart disease, or Alzheimer's disease. They often injure the cell, damaging the DNA, which creates the seed for all diseases. It is impossible for us to avoid damage by free radicals. They arise from sources outside and inside our body. If we are in lack of antioxidants and unable to neutralize these free radicals, they can escape into surrounding tissues and further damage our cells. Okay, Fanny, before, before we go ahead, I want to be sure that people get the exact idea of what a free radical is and how they are harmful for our bodies. And uh, since we, were we will be talking about free radicals in the next few minutes, it, it is very, very important that people get the, the idea of what a free radical is. Uh, I will try to put this example in, in the easiest way to, uh, so people can, can get the idea. Uh, imagine that you are the owner of a bakery, so you have a lot of uh, cakes and pies, and pies uh, in your store. And what happens if someone gets a piece of one of these cakes? You can sell this cake because it is incomplete. So in order to sell this cake, maybe you need to take a piece of another cake and place it there. And this first cake will become, uh, again, complete uh, remarks that it, it, it is not the way it used to be, but it's almost complete. So what happened with the second cake? Uh, the second cake where you took the two to place, it became incomplete also. And if you want to get it complete, you need to take a piece of a third cake and then a fourth and then so on. And that exactly is the same that's happened with free radicals. Free radicals are molecules that are not completed. They are incomplete molecules, and because of that, they are unstable. And in order to get honest, to get stable again, they need to get completed again. And to get completed again, they will attack the, the molecules that are nearby. So they take this, this piece that, that is missing on it, and, and they will become complete again but not completely stable. The second molecule now will be incomplete also. And to get completed and stable again, 
they will try to get uh, another piece from another molecule and then from another and another and another and this will produce a chain reaction this chain reaction will produce an instability in our bodies and the, because of that our bodies will become more susceptible to the attack of diseases and uh, even uh, to the attack to, to, to more free radicals that's uh, well in simple plain term a free radical is a molecule that is not completed and is unstable so the harmful of this molecule is because of the instability they can produce in our bodies and it can uh, make our bodies susceptible to the diseases okay thank you a lot for elaborating on that and explaining that in a better way that people can comprehend Victor that was very good um, over here in this slide, we can see the things are free radicals. Maybe one of us, or maybe we know of someone else who suffers one of these conditions. Do you know of anyone, or maybe yourself, that is suffering any of these conditions here? Allergies, for example, chronic fatigue, liver cancer, gastritis. Any, all of these conditions are caused and known to be caused by free radicals. So let's talk a little bit about oxidative stress. So similar to an example of an apple turning brown, the oxidation process takes place in our bodies mm -hmm. as well. So when you eat, talk, breathe, work, and exercise, your body produces free radicals, causing the damage to your cells. Antioxidants offer a defense against cell damage. They protect our cells. So let's look at the current typical daily lifestyle. We're constantly being exposed to the outside world environmentally, physically, and mentally. Environmental-wise, the sun rays, ultraviolet rays, air pollution, water pollution, preservative food or poor nutrition diet um, choices, and medication. Physical-wise, exercise, and mental-wise, stress due to work, relationships, and financial problems. All of the above factors produce and our body is constantly being bombarded by these free radicals. When you perform any activities, your body is burning and producing toxins by reacting with oxygen, which oxidation, just like an apple cut in half, turns brown. As we can see in this picture here, the reason why this apple has not turned brown is because it was um, squirted with lemon juice, which is also um, full of bioflavonoids or antioxidants to preserve this apple from rotting, basically, as you can see here. Yeah, this is a good point, Fanny, because we all know that we need the oxygen to get alive. Actually, we breathe oxygen, and oxygen is needed to convert our food into energy. But uh, an overexposure of, of the oxygen can be harmful for our health. And, and again, you can imagine a piece of iron. If you place it outside, the, the, the piece of iron will get rusty and uh, uh, unuseful. Okay, the same can happen with our body. If we don't control the, the way we are uh, absorbing the oxygen, our bodies can be uh, attacked by, by this uh, oxidative stress. Thanks again, Victor. Okay, so here's a, as we spoke a few minutes earlier, where the free radicals come from. We're exposed to it on a daily basis. So it's not, there's no escaping it. It doesn't matter, let's say, if we don't drive a vehicle or maybe eat a healthy diet. We always are exposed to stress. We're exposed to the sun. We're exposed to it on a daily basis. So there's really no escaping that. And again, free radicals and oxidative stress, the different organ systems that they affect and the different diseases that they cause here. And like I said earlier, maybe we know someone or maybe yourself is suffering from one of these conditions. So let's talk about antioxidants. So again, this is another word that we commonly hear today. So what exactly are they? Antioxidants are substances or nutrients in our foods which can prevent or slow the oxidative damage to our body. Antioxidants act as free radical scavengers. They help neutralize free radicals in your body that can damage your cells and lead to disease while preventing and damage done by these free radicals. Health problems such as health diseases, macular degeneration, diabetes, and cancer are all contributed, contributed by oxidative damage. Antioxidants may enhance immune defense and therefore lower the risk of cancer and infection. Our body creates its own antioxidants, but we are constantly exposed on a daily basis to the elements in the environment as well as internally 
and that, in that increases free radical production. So this is why it's vital to supplement with antioxidants to protect our bodies, because obviously we don't get enough in our diet as well. OPCs, the most powerful antioxidants in the world. Why are they the most superior antioxidants? OPCs, short for oligomeric proanthocyanidin, are in of the flavonoid class. Flavonoids are antioxidants found naturally in red wine extracts or of and grape seeds. OPCs are effective against many types of free radicals. While other antioxidants, such as vitamin C and E, destroy several types of free radicals, a blend of OPCs having different antioxidants destroys and protects us from more types of free radicals and reaches more compartments of the body than any other antioxidant. It is truly superior in protecting ourselves. Technogenol has been rated to be the best of many antioxidants because it is effective against several types of free radicals that, per, that are present in the body. The systems that technogenol has the effect include many systems important to health, such as our blood vessels, the eyes, and blood platelets. Although there is not one antioxidant or vitamin that works best in all systems, it is known to be the most powerful in most systems, especially the body's major so let's talk a little bit about vitamin C and E, which are all antioxidants. Vitamin C and E we can get from our foods, such as berries, citrus, green vegetables. And vitamin E, we can also receive them in our diet as well, from nuts, eggs, sweet potatoes, leafy green vegetables, brown rice, etc. Now, after vitamin C and E molecule come into contact with a free radical inside our body, it becomes inactive. And then eventually the body eliminates it. Now, when an inactive vitamin C comes into contact with technogenol, it becomes activated again. In other words, it can regenerate used or spent vitamin C. Then vitamin C will activate vitamin E. And that's a really new point that I actually learned for studying this, for this webinar. This is truly amazing. Vitamin C is a water-soluble antioxidant, so it travels in the bloodstream. Vitamin E is fat-soluble antioxidant, which means it's stored in the fatty tissues. Now, OPCs have both qualities, being both fat and water-soluble. The blend of OPCs helps various parts of the body. Not only does OPC protect our cells interior and exterior, but they also circulate in our bloodstream, destroying free radicals before they can do damage to body organs and systems. Technogenol has the ability has the ability to double the content of antioxidant enzymes inside the cell, in addition to neutralizing free radicals. So let's talk about stress. Stress is something that we're exposed to on a daily basis. And as we can see here in the list, these are just a few of the most common, the most damaging things on this response. For example, weakened immune system, high blood pressure, blood clotting, hair loss, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, inflammation. And the reason, cellular weight gain, poor appetite, insomnia, hair loss, skin problems, and there's a lot more where this came from here. Our body is prepared to make and made to tolerate acute stress, which we call our flight, fight or flight response. For example, in an emergency is when we need to run. But our body, however, is not made to tolerate chronic stress. When we are constantly under different types of stresses in our daily lives, some we cannot avoid. However, these can protect our bodies at a cellular level from the damage stress causes. Did you know that stress forms blood clots? Just as much as smoking, diabetes, and nutritional deficiencies do, when our body is under constant stress, we release adrenaline. So adrenaline then activates blood platelets together and form a clot. It forms blood vessels to constrict, and then it, you have the consequences, which is high blood pressure. So how can OPCs help us with this? First, it improves our body's nitric oxide level. So what does that mean? That means nitric oxide is, is actually instructs our surrounding, our surrounding, um, instructs our muscles surrounding our blood vessels, and it causes them to relax. 
It instructs also the platelets to return back to their non-sticky conditions and are no longer in an alarm state. And as for our circulatory system, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. People of all ages and backgrounds can get this condition. And free radicals damage our blood vessels. They actually inj cause injury inside our blood vessels and cause um, LDL or bad cholesterol to form, which can also block them and cause blood clots. So let's talk a little bit about how, how this happens in a heart attack, for example. Cholesterol deposits form only when LDL becomes oxidized by free radicals. Infection fighting white blood cells sense that something is wrong and it is attracted to the site and it swells. This makes what we call foam cells. And these are white blood cells filled with oxidized LDL and it adheres to the artery lining, also known as plaque. And as more plaque forms inside the artery, the space where blood is supposed to flow through gets narrower. Blood flow is decreased to the heart. And because the artery is narrow, it also damages the platelets trying to pass through, making them sticky and encouraging clot formation. These clots can interrupt blood flow and lodge into the arteries of the heart or the coronary arteries and completely cut off the flow of blood through that artery. So when a blood clot shuts off the flow of blood in the coronary artery, that region of the heart fed by the artery is starved from oxygen and nutrients and the cells die resulting in infarct, also known as the heart attack. And as we know here, LDL is oxidized only when the amount of antioxidants is insufficient to protect LDL against free radicals. So another reason why it's vital to have enough antioxidants is. So as we see here, this is actually blood work done by a doctor before OPC and after OPC. So as you can see, it actually promotes the slipperiness and health of the blood cells instead of them clumping and sticking together. OPC is helping the slipperiness of the blood cells and prevent the clots from the uh, clots forming in the coronary arteries. They keep blood flowing in the blood vessels and relax. OPC is also lower blood pressure. It's not a hypertensive blood, but it relaxes blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow. It protects the heart by preventing damage that high blood pressure causes to the heart, and it counteracts the wearing out of the heart muscle. That is overworked due to hypertension. OPC has been shown in studies to increase the connected collagen tissue in the heart muscle, resulting in stronger cardiac cancer. Blood vessels, it prevents development of cytokines and also helps the existing ones from getting larger. It reduces bleeding, reduces edema in the legs, and also prevents the from forming after long flight. This is a great slide, this slide because uh, OPC causes an effect like the aspirin, but uh, without the side effects, we know that aspirin can cause uh, irritation in, in, in the stomach. And it gets the, the blood uh, make make it thin. So with OPC, we don't have this side effect. Thank you, Victor. Okay, free radicals and our DNA. Um, our DNA contains our blueprint to produce cells in our body. It is our genetic who we are, how our kids will be, etc. So when a template is damaged by free radicals, our body may not be able to repair all the damage, which can result in a new cell, which can be mutated. So this can actually become a tumor, whether benign or malignant. And again, I think this is the, the most harmful effect that free radicals can have in our body, because we are now than uh, degenerative diseases. Uh, well, most of people think that they they come by in the DNA and they come by heritage. That we don't know that free radicals can damage our DNA uh, at the point that they can mute our cells and produce that uh, degenerative diseases. Yes, thank you, Victor. As we can see, um, that not all just because maybe it's not in our genetics or it doesn't run in our family, that doesn't mean that we're not exposed and that doesn't mean that we cannot get this because we are exposed to free radicals on a daily basis. So 
that's a great point right there. So as for cancer, um, as we were talking earlier, free, can, free radicals cause cells to mutate that start the cancer process. So how do free radicals initiate cancer? First, free radicals damage our DNA, which results in the production of mutated cells, which can then become malignant or benign tumors. They suppress the immune system so the body cannot defend itself. And it also activates carcinogens, such as tobacco smoke and other pollutants or toxins that start the chemical reactions that lead to cancer. Antioxidants can stop or slow down the steps of cancer development. They can reduce the chances of metastasis or, or spreading and boost the immune system. It's a, a very strong immune system can destroy full flow and clinical cancer. Now, how OPCs prevent cancer? First, they destroy cancer causing free radicals. They inactivate carcinogen. It boosts the immune system so that mutated cells can be destroyed before becoming cancerous. And it also reduces the tendency of cancer cells to stick together and adhere to other sites and metastasize. Now, there was a study done at Creighton University School of Pharmacy, and it was found that grape seed extract prevents the growth of breast, stomach, and lung cancer cells while enhancing the growth of normal cells. Grape seed extract is also effective in preventing damage to human liver cells caused by chemotherapy medications. Bilberry detoxifies carcinogens and decreases enzymes that promote tumor growth. Inflammation and degenerative diseases. Again, these are um, these are conditions that are very common in our society today. Maybe you or maybe you know someone who is suffering one of these diseases listed here. Many of us are familiar with them, these diseases or conditions, and some of us are suffering from them ourselves. Now, all of them are the result of the body being attacked constantly by free radicals. Free radicals cause inflammation, and inflammation causes free radicals, the production of more free radicals. This leads the person to an inflamed state, and that's why we see so many people on medications, and it seems that they never get better because they are masking the symptoms, not treating the cause of it at all. And that's why they have a, the, the chronic inflammation that never goes away. They maintain themselves in an inflamed state constantly. Yeah, actually, we are know that uh, OPC can be a natural later of the capillary basis, so it can help to release all the problems related with inflammation, including the head headache and uh, migraines and even varicose veins. So OPC can help uh, to, to reduce inflammation. The OPC is actually one of the most powerful natural anti-inflammatories known as of now, with no side effects, of course. Okay, and we have autoimmune diseases. These are all the different body um, body part types, um, body systems. I mean, actually, that can be affected directly by an autoimmune disease. State of um, stress is a role in autoimmune diseases. It can be compared to a piece of metal rusting, as Victor mentioned earlier, and that results from the action of damaging molecules, free radicals, which are the natural byproducts of the body's metabolism. Free radicals attack the healthy cells, and it causes them to lose their structure and function and eventually destroys them. Chronic systemic inflammation is related to several autoimmune disorders, such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, for example, and when our body is constantly being under attack by free radicals, our immune system can lose control and it starts attacking cells because it senses that something is wrong. So it actually starts attacking our own body and it can attack the organ system. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a real testimonial. It's a podiatrist that put one of his patients, a 60 female, with over 30 years suffering psoriasis plaque on her feet, hands, back, and scalp. And she was very young up to various treatments for many years. Now, he put her on a regimen of OPC3 for doses daily. After six weeks, as we can see here, her psoriasis has improved remarkably. And not only that, her wounds healed. And her condition, as of this day, is maintained with two packs of OPC daily. 
access also I just want to mention is loss of rice is a type of inflammation. And OPCs help combat any type of inflammation in our body at the cellular level. More inflammation, arthritis, asthma, and diabetes. As for arthritis, OPCs neutralize free radicals that promote inflammation and swelling in the first place, and it reduces pain. This means that a person can live a relatively normal life and not have to be in constant pain or have joint swelling. It can help promote more joint flexibility as well. As for diabetes, OPCs actually have natural blood sugar balancing properties. They delay blood sugar absorption. It reduces and prevents many complications associated with diabetes as well, including leg ulcerations, edema, kidney problems, retinopathy, high blood pressure, heart problems, and neuropathy. People that have arthritis or diabetes need more antioxidant protection than healthy people do because arthritis and diabetes actually increases the production of free radicals in the body. And asthma. Asthma is, an, is considered another type of inflammation. And asthmatic attack is an example of a harmful inflammation. Pycnogenol has been proven effective at preventing this kind of inflammation. Pycnogenol can improve pulmonary function, decrease asthma symptoms, and its anti-inflammatory properties still irritation that the fungi to construct as well, making many OPCs, people take OPCs to relieve their disease as well. And it affects because OPCs don't block his symptoms leave. And I personally know um, of, of people that are actually able to live on the East Coast considering all of the humidity or in the South, considering all of the floral of the OPCs and preventing their asthmatic attacks from occurring. They can actually live symptom-free. All right, so let's talk about exercise and oxidative stress. So say you're, you're one who lives a healthy lifestyle and stays active. Do you think that you're automatically safe from all that we mentioned so far? I'm very sorry to say, but just because you exercise a lot, it does not make you immune to the harmful effects of free radicals. Working out actually increases the number of free radicals in the body. Endurance exercise can increase oxygen utilization from 10 to 20 times over the resting state. This greatly increases the generation of free radicals, prompting concern about enhanced damage to muscles and other tissues. These free radicals can leave you feeling sore, weak, and more prone to injury and sickness after an intense workout. You may notice that your endurance starts to drop off or that you have a harder time recovering from a tough workout. You may also get sick more often than you did before you started working out. And these are all signs that free radicals have shifted the balance in your body into a state of oxidative stress. So by taking an antioxidant supplement directly after a workout, you can help reduce the oxidative stress on your body. By reducing the free radicals, you are putting your body into more balanced mode. Antioxidants and brain health. Your brain is the greatest asset, but it's also your body's most vulnerable organ. It requires constant support from other major, major organs, and it's your most susceptible organ to oxidative stress. Your brain is the oxygen demanding organ in your body. Your brain uses chemicals or neurotransmitters mm -hmm. to relay important messages to other parts of your body. These same chemicals are also involved in chemical reactions that produce damaging free radicals. Your brain cells become weak or die, and they cannot repair themselves. Their functions can be permanently lost if cell death or, cell death or damage occurs. Given these facts, your brain is especially vulnerable to conditions that threaten oxygen supply, such as in a head injury, stroke, lung diseases, and heart failure. Under these conditions, brain activity will continue even without enough oxygen. And this causes problems that lead to extreme levels of oxidative stress and the overproduction of damaging free radicals. In diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, other damaging factors are at work. In Alzheimer's disease, a toxic protein called beta amyloid forms in your brain tissue. This protein acts as an irritant that causes inflammation in your brain. This inflammation then carries the production of causes the production of free radicals that can destroy any membrane and cells in your path. 
Parkinson's disease results from unregulated production of the brain chemical dopamine, which with the help of free radicals becomes toxic to the brain cells that control your motor function. Even in a healthy brain, oxygen vessels are produced every moment during normal brain of neuronal activity. In a healthy brain, enzymes and nutritional antioxidants neutralize these free radicals. So oxidative stress is a major factor in aging. This stress can be combated or balanced by dietary antioxidants into your daily life. And the best way to do this is by including a powerful OPT supplement with your daily wellness regimen. Studies have shown that OPCs can help with managing ADD, autism, depression, and other neurological disorders. OPCs also have anti-aging benefits. Because we want to increase the quality of our life, we want to add more years to our life and more life to our users. We want to live better and longer. As we have learned, free radicals accelerate the aging process that causes disease. They turn off our light bulbs. OPCs destroy these free radicals, slowing down the aging process. Technogenol is also known to be the skin vitamin or oral cosmetic. It rebuilds the skin tissue, making it smoother, younger, younger looking, and healthier. OPCs facilitate circulation to the skin, keeping it well nourished and well appearance. Other benefits of OPCs for our eyes, it reduces the risk of cataracts and diabetic retinopathy. It aids with sexual function, fertility, PMS, mental disorder, as well as endometriosis symptoms. It improves sperm motility and mobility. And as for ED, technogenol has been awarded a patent for relieving the symptoms of ED with OPC. So let's talk about our delivery system, why the OPCs that we carry is very unique. So the word isotonic means same pressure. Same pressure as your body. As, as for example, same pressure as your cells, your blood, your tears. The only other way to receive an isotonic supplement is through an IV. The solution in the IV is considered an isotonic solution, and that means that it absorbs 100% into your bloodstream right away because it's through your veins. Now, the isotonic delivery system that we have, also available in OPC form, um, it's something that you take orally. You drink it with the appropriate amount of water, and when you take the isotonic solution, it goes into your stomach, it starts dripping down your small intestine within five minutes, and it gets absorbed to the wall, through the walls. It will be in your bloodstream in less than 15 minutes. And it's really important because as we can see in this picture, a tablet, let's say a tablet, you know, multivitamin, for example, I mean, the most you're going to absorb from that is only bioavailable about 20% into your bloodstream. That's, all, that's how much your body will assimilate and absorb. As with an isotonic solution, you're going to absorb more than 90%. So you will feel the difference. And this is why it's so important because if you will feel the difference, you will also feel better. So you're not yeah. wasting your money. I just want to, to, to make one point here, Penny. Uh, well, uh, when you... Uh, take the, your supplements in, in tablets or pills or capsules, you are uh, involved in, in a digestive uh, process to get the uh, active uh, substance from, from the pill. And this involves the use of our stomach of uh, acids in, to, to, to try to, to, to get the, the supplement from, from the pill. And that, that acid can uh, damage uh, part of, of the active substance. That's why you don't have the 100% of, of the substance uh, in, in your uh, organism. And this is why it takes a, a lot of time to, to, to get that uh, substance from, from the field. Uh, it, it doesn't happen with, with isotonic because it comes into a, a empty stomach and it gets absorbed immediately to the small intestine. So you have a better absorption, fast absorption than with the regular uh, pills or tablets. Absolutely. Supplement, you know, you want to feel the effects. And with an isotonic, you will, you will definitely feel the benefits. I 
these are 53 that we have available. We have our original formula that has the pycnogenol, the red wine extract, mm -hmm. the grape seed extract, the bilberry. Um, and then we also have our OPC skin health formula, which is enhanced mm -hmm. with B vitamins, such as biotin, to help with a healthy complexion, hair, skin, nails. We also have the vitamins formula for children. And um, like I said, it's been studied to help with kids with autism, ADHD. And we also have a variety for pets. And I actually use this on my dog, which has hip dysplasia, and he's running around all over the place. It's enhanced with glucosamine. We also have resveratrol, which is a very highly um, concentrated form of um, red wine extract available as well. And these are all in isotonic form. Um, I invite you to visit my web page. It's the angel.com slash antioxidants. The rest you're taking is to the antioxidants. Um, and also wellbeinghp.com. 